<laughs> that was the broadcast debut with roller skating here on the morning hangover. You listen to Jess Man. I got uh, Matt sitting beside me and right behind What's me. What's happening? I have the band Irene, and they're quite noisy. <laughs> I'm, I'm finding out in the morning. Well, I mean, I, I, I think it's kind of hard not to be like to be quiet in the studio. Is that it? like, especially since we have like what six people in here. Yeah, there's now. not a whole lot of room. We're all touching you know, elbows. <laughs> we're, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're all touching each other because it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a, yeah, 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 it's a broom closet. So, uh, but anyways, like we said, Irene is here live in the studio. Say hi, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, basically, we're let's start off. Tell us a little bit about the band. Tell us about you. Tell us about yourselves. Inter- actually, here first, introduce yourselves to to all the listeners first. You guys can just go down. You look so nervous. You just look so you look so hesitant. My name's Nelson. My favorite color's blue. No, it's not. Wait. All green. <laughs> I play bass guitar. And apparently a lot of people in Putnam County think I'm sexy. Ooh. Oh, nice. You got the Putnam County followers. Nice. I'm supposed to tell people that. <laughs> I'm Erica, and I'm the lead singer because I rock. And I'm tied for first in coolness with Nelson, so I think <laughs> that's Tied. Nice, I don't know. Tied. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My name's uh, Josh. I'm the drummer. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I just woke up, and I can't count past four. Oh, wow. And uh, I just hit And me. he fell down the stairs on his way here. <laughs> Yeah, he was he was walking up the stairs. The janitor had just got done, uh, you know, like uh, mopping the floors. He comes up the stairs and just basically face plants almost you know, right on the floor. So uh, yeah, that was a yeah, that was a great way to start off the uh, start off the hour. And uh, finally, uh, I'm Brian. I uh, play guitar and I don't fall downstairs. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Well, that's good. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys have been up to lately. I mean, uh, music-wise, just overall band-wise. You know, what do, what do you guys? Some new things to uh, your schedule. What have you been up to lately? New things. Everything. Everyone's like looking at me like, "What are you talking about?" What have we been They're kind of trying to think about what they've been doing lately. Well, how about this? I'll, I'll use it, simplify it for us. It's you. nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> they're not exactly they're not exactly functioning right now, I guess. Um, uh, tell us about the battle of the bands, then at least. I mean, yeah, how, yeah, we've been, been yeah. getting hyped up for that. Been practicing. Yeah, just hanging a out. Lot. <laughs> how often do you guys uh, usually uh, practice? Just like every day, or uh, three times a week. Three times a yep. week. Nice. <laughs> and um, so, is uh, has this uh, battle of the bands? Has it proven to be? Uh, a challenge for you guys, or I mean, you guys are in the uh, the final round, so obviously it's not that big of a challenge. I think the biggest challenge is we don't really know our competition, yeah, and who we're up against until we get there and we mm-hmm. hear them and we look at each other and we're like, wow, these people are good. Yeah, you know, we need to step it up or something. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, and it's it's in a, it's at Rick's Cafe in Toledo. So does that mean you're getting a lot of bands from the Toledo area, or actually are there are a lot of bands coming from Finley? Or? Yeah, actually, they they told us um, when we made the final round a couple weeks. ago that we're the only band in the past two years who has made the final round that's not been from Toledo. Wow. Yeah. So, it, now obviously, you know, Toledo is huge, so there's got to be a bunch of bands. So, um, now, tell us a little bit about your music. What would you say your music style is? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. That's an Eric Give question. them the proper definition. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if you put a cat oh, no. in a blender... <laughs> a, a cat in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> there we go. We that's it, right? A chorus of angels. Okay. That's what we play. Here. Oh, what now? <laughs> chorus of angels. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 uh, maybe some bullfrogs. <laughs> that was a horrible bullfrog. It's <laughs> like more of a verb, I guess. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Josh falling up the stairs. Uh-huh. <laughs> In rhythm. In r- okay. His own rhythm. So, so, so you would call your music a, a mixture of a cat, a bullfrog, and a chorus of angels. In a blender. A chorus of In angels a bl- in a blender. <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. sure. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. It really does. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we're a uh, we're a Christian alternative pop punk band, so we probably sound like nothing in a blender. <laughs> okay. So. Um, I'm sure um, every band gets asked this question. You guys have influences. You guys know who those are. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sure ever, ever, all personally, you guys have different influences. Um, Correct. Is it, she likes hip hop. She's hip hop. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah she's weird. I'm not weird. Y'all are weird. Whoa. Say that. Y'all think again. I said y'all are weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think we all in agreement that we think Paramore rocks, and I guess we play a lot of their cover stuff. Well, not a lot, just a few things because well, we have a girl lead singer, so. <laughs> And uh, This Beautiful Republic, I don't know if anyone who's listening right now has ever heard of This uh, This Beautiful Republic. They're pretty much amazing. So if not, you should go buy their CD. They're from Toledo. They're a local band. They're awesome. Uh, who else do we like, guys? I don't know. <laughs> the Almost. The Almost. Those guys are pretty good. Um, right now, I've got Joan Zeta in my car. They're pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. Um, well, um, I don't know if you guys were listening earlier, but uh, we did have a box of donuts in here. I'm like, I don't know how you guys autograph uh you know, yeah, you want to sign yeah, you guys, would you guys sign our autograph or like autograph? Krispy Kreme. Chris, yeah. Hey, oh, no, this no, is member. Just, just, just the box. The, box. <laughs> <laughs> the donuts are gone, so you can't autograph a donut, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of difficult. This is the first Krispy Kreme box. Is this this is the first Krispy Kreme box I bet, right? Okay, wow. so this is like memorabilia that uh, we we can hold in the studio can here. We sign it off on eBay or auction it. Uh, you probably could actually. We'll probably get a penny for it. <laughs> well, to, actually, today is Penny Day. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. It's the national Those holiday. holiday. Today is Penny Day. Well, that's a coincidence. The coincidence that's right there. Monday is. Pirate Day. It's Memorial a- Day. I oh, oh, got you on that one. <laughs> I had to steal that. <laughs> we had to steal that one away. Thanks a lot. I said that earlier, and he was like, "Ah, oh, you're so funny." <laughs> but yeah, um, actually, uh, uh, so you guys, uh, we'll we'll have you guys sign the Krispy Kreme box. <laughs> we'll have you guys sign the Krispy Kreme box a little bit later, um, but uh, do you guys, you guys, do you guys tour a lot? Do you uh, just tour basically around Finley, Ohio, or do you actually go? I mean, you're in Toledo right now for the Battle of the Bands. Do you go? Have you gone any further than that? Or Dayton is about the farthest we've gone. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sandusky. Oh yeah, and Sandusky. Yeah, I don't know which one's farther. Uh, Probably Sandusky. I don't know. Maybe both. Yeah. They're both farther. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so you guys have been to Dayton and Sandusky, and if, are you just playing random, basically like battle of the band type shows there, or just actually, yeah, you're just like the headliner there? Um, not the headliner, but those are just normal shows yeah. that we're getting. Um, we're we're playing we're playing more shows in like in the Dayton area this yeah. summer. Hopefully cool. Toledo as well. Excellent. Um, we're just trying to hit 75 up mm-hmm. and down so we get a bigger following because we're almost a year old, so we don't have a lot of fans. Yeah. So uh, since you, you've done, a, I say, a good reasonable amount of t- uh, traveling, got any great stories from the road? <laughs> any, I was just going to say I mean, a story on your way home from Dayton. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> wow. No, remember when we were at McDonald's and they called the cops on us? Oh. <laughs> For being a Christian band, we definitely have our run-ins with the cops. Wow, nice. <laughs> um, we were on our way home. It was a Sunday night, and it was so foggy. We were so hungry, and we were all slap happy because it's 3 in the morning. Yeah. And uh, we all had to be at work at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning the next day, if, uh. that, if not earlier. And so we were on the way. To, we stopped at McDonald's to get some food. And like I said, we are all slap happy. We were laughing. And they tell us, pull up to the next window and wait for your food. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we thought they said pull past the next window. Because you know when you get your food and it's not ready? Yeah. Pull past the window. So that's what we did. It's three in the, we pulled past the window. Yeah. And then uh, it's three in the morning. And we're, like I said, we're tired. So we're trying to have fun. And I don't know what Eric was doing. He was spitting something on my windshield. I don't know what it was. So we're, we're out. We're in the drive-thru. And we're, we're laughing. We're having a good time. And the guy gets out, opens up the door, opens up the door. And with his food, he's like, what the heck are you guys doing? And the bride's like, whoa, sir, calm down. Anyway, the guy, he was like, okay, well, hold on a second. Closes the door. Five minutes later, three cop cars pull up. Yeah. And we're like, what's going on? And they... 
they want they thought we were drunk. So oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So they did they make each one of you get out like do a sobriety test no, or anything? No, they didn't go that, that far. intense. They did a little. My 